Good morning. So people were saying, I'm not using my phone in church, Father. I'm using my phone to get into church. Uh, we used to say, leave your phone in the car, but now you need it to get through the check mark. So that can of trace is the fastest, easy way to get in. Next one is to fill out a purple form before you come and just hand it in to the people. Or if you haven't done that, to give your name and phone number as you enter in the screener. Somebody said, but I did this last week, Father. You have to do it. We have to do it every time you enter the church. For mass, for ministry, for meeting, anything. We have to do it. So, thank you. Uh, we had a wonderful Advent uh, evening reflection on Thursday with our uh, Catholic Women's League in the northern region of the Archdiocese. Um, and uh, this Sunday and uh, next week and the week after, we're going to be uh, doing the Confidior at the beginning of Mass. I confess to Almighty God. And you know, you got to love the Americans because the American bishops, when the new missile came out in 2011, there was the instruction that uh, when we say, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, that we strike our breasts. Well, so the bishop said, how many times do you strike the breast? And the answer, only the Americans would ask. And then the answer came back from Rome, once. Oh, once. Once. So what I do is I strike the breast and keep it there until my fault, my fault, my most grievous fault. I think they maybe saw children moving like this and like that. So uh, just once, Okay. Electors, we ask you to sign up in the sacristy for Christmas and New Year's uh, lecturing. And Eucharistic ministers, we ask you to sign up in the hall behind the tabernacle for uh, the same for Christmas and New Year's uh, Eucharistic ministry. It's the second Sunday in Lent, in Lent, in Advent. Uh, prepare the way of the Lord. I invite you to stand and to uh, sing our gathering song, number 306. 306. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who was, who is, and who is to come, be with you always. As we come together as a royal and priestly people, God's own people, to prepare, to expect, to anticipate in this Advent season, we call upon the mercy 
and the compassion of our God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Take off the garment of your sorrow and affliction, O Jerusalem, and put on forever the beauty of the glory from God. Put on the robe of the righteousness that comes from God. Put on your head the diadem of the glory of the everlasting. For God will show your splendor everywhere under heaven. For God will give you evermore the name, righteous peace, godly glory. Arise, O Jerusalem, stand upon the height, Look toward the east and see your children gathered from west and east as the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that God has remembered them. For they went out from you on foot, led away by their enemies, but God will bring them back to you carried in glory as on a royal throne. For God has ordered that every high mountain and the everlasting hills be made low and the valleys filled up to make level ground so that Israel may walk safely in the glory of God the woods and every fragrant tree have shaded Israel at God's command. For God will lead Israel with joy in the light of his glory with the mercy and righteousness that come from him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. done great things for us we are filled with 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. For God is my witness how long I, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you determine what is best so that in the day of Christ, you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the 15th year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was the governor of Judea, and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip ruler of the region of Ituria and Trachonitis, and Lysanias ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough ways made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Advent, this season of preparation, anticipation, and expectation. And the prophet Baruch, we so rarely get to hear from the prophet Baruch, he was writing 
to the people of Israel at the end of the exile, the end of the time when they'd been taken captive and had to go to Babylonia, Babylon. And, and, uh, and so this is the end of the exile. And the, they're going to come back. The people of Israel are going to come back to Jerusalem. Some suggest that maybe Baruch was a scribe for Jeremiah. But these words, the mountains made low, the valleys filled in, the paths straightened, the ground leveled, that hearkens to the prophet Isaiah, which Luke has John the Baptist quoting in the Gospel. That image captivates St. John. Not talking about the hills in Palestine, really, but talking about the hills and valleys of the human heart in every person, in every nation, of every time who seeks the Lord. What are the mountains in our hearts that need to be made low? You could think of pride and greed. As the people in North America, we become very proud and very greedy. Think about the, the ways in which we bought up all the vaccines first. What are the valleys in our hearts that need to be filled in? Think of someone trying to overcome an addiction or with a lack of confidence in oneself. What are the crooked roads in our hearts that need to be straightened? I think of lying and deceitfulness, being dishonest with others. What are the uneven surfaces on the roads of our hearts that need to be resurfaced, if you will? Think about our language, jokes, gossip. And as much as this prophecy from Baruch was written some 26, 2700 years, years ago, it's this idea that, that the people of Israel would be able to put on a new mindset, would be, be able to put on a new self-image, that, that they would be the glory of God. That's truly written for us today. For the only way forward from darkness and negativity that surround us so much. As we think, so shall we become. And the gospel begins with these historical figures, these rulers. Some of the names are a little bit hard to pronounce. I'm not sure if I got them all right. But some would suggest, well, maybe we could just skip over that. You know, the the, uh, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah. Just go straight to that line. But I think that that's missing something. These rulers, these quoting, if you will, these, the historical reality gives us the time and place in Palestine in which John was ministering. And at the same time, it announces that the Messiah, the coming of the Messiah, the advent of God, is for all people, in all places, of all times. And there's a contrast here between the first verses with the human history and the, the following verses with, if you will, divine history, how God will do the leveling of mountains, the filling in of valleys. The coming
coming of the Messiah would be for all, not just for a few, not just for the powerful or the elite, not just for uh, rulers, but for all flesh. And St. Paul, in his letter to the Philippians, talks about how, how joyful he is, how much he rejoices in, in the, the love, the, uh, the uh, increasing and abounding love that the Philippians have for one another and for all. And this is the way that we live a life prepared in Advent. Living in preparation and anticipation and expectation. This is the way, building the kingdom, extending the reign of God by abounding in love. And so we come to the table of the Lord. And here from this table, we encounter the sacrificial, self-giving love of Christ in the Eucharist. And so what, may go, what God, who has begun this good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. I invite our catechumens and candidates to come forward with their catechists. My friends, we send you forth to reflect upon the word of God, which you've heard proclaimed in our midst. Know of our constant prayers for you as you journey to the table of the Lord. And may the Lord level any mountains and fill in any value, valleys in your heart. We profess our beliefs in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare the way of the Lord while we await his return, let us entrust the needs of the church and the world to God, who comforts us with the promise of salvation. For the church throughout the world, joyful herald of Jesus the Messiah in every age and place, and for all priests deacons and lay people who minister in their parish communities we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for christians who prepare the lord's way by their love 
and affirmation, and for prophets who speak for the poor and powerless, planting the seeds of peace and justice. <clears throat> we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For indigenous survivors, elders, knowledge keepers, and youth, as they prepare for their meeting with Pope Francis, for those affected by the legacy of the residential school system, and for Pope Francis and all church leaders called to listen, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace and repentance that leads to joy and freedom, and for the forgiveness of grudges and hurts between individuals and prophet and peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, <laughs> hear our prayer. For those struggling with obstacles to their health and happiness, for all hospital workers as they continue to care for the needs of others, including all staff at RVH, and for the people who are grieving in this time of joyful preparation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spiritual and physical welfare of all parishioners, for those who are sick, including Nellie Van Hoogen, Father Bob Holmes, Guy Leger, and for those on our parish sick list, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died recently, including Ignatius McDonald, Shirley Greer, Lillian Donato, and Jerry Hurley, and for all who mourn, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Come to us, O God, in the wilderness of our world, that as we behold the splendor of your glory, your love may bring to completion the good you have begun in us through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name. 
for our good and the good of all, God's holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy. Created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same sac Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection on 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the bulletins, or bulletins uh, didn't get delivered this week. Um, too much, too many things, I guess, in Federal Express's uh, delivery system. So uh, we've printed them so it doesn't look like a normal bulletin. It's just the insides of the bulletin that have been printed on uh, double-sided. Uh, in the parish hall, envelopes are ready to be picked up. They're in alphabetical order from the left-hand side uh, in the front door all the way across the front of the, the parish hall. This week, uh, Tuesday morning, we have Christian meditation online at 10.30, and the link is on the website. Uh, we have a parent reconciliation meeting, parents-only reconciliation meeting, Tuesday evening at 7.30 for those uh, parents of children preparing for their first sharing in Eucharist and first reconciliation. So that's Tuesday evening at 7.30. And our confirmation meetings start this week on Wednesday with Mass at 7 o'clock. So this week and next are the two confirmation meetings. And uh, our refugee committee is meeting on Thursday at 7 o'clock. Mercy, our kindergarten to grade 4 uh, youth ministry, is Friday evening at 6 o'clock. And our uh, young adult ministry is Friday evening from 7.30 uh, uh, at 7.30 in the youth room. So uh, busy evening, Friday evening. And in the uh, uh, gathering space, the Knights of Columbus have uh, Knights uh, Magnets. Uh, keep Christ in Christmas available for purchase. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Make straight in the desert a high